गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल दिस इज डॉक्टर के पुष्पराने एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी एस सी एम एल आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनिमरेटिंग कॉम्बिनेशन एंड परमिटेशन विथ कंस्ट्रेंड रिपिटेशन सो द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज डिस्कस अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन एंड परमिटेशन विथ कंस्ट्रेंड रिपिटेशन द टर्म कॉल्ड कंस्ट्रेंट मीन्स वी नीड टू अप्लाई सम कंडीशन before going to so proceed the example we need to apply some conditions based on the conditions only we have to find uh, how many ways we have to select how many ways we can arrange based on the conditions only we can understand with the help of example in the case of when forming combinations uh, we are not bother about the order so selection is not order is not at a matter but the constraint means uh, some items can be repeated but only up to some limited number for example 3a means what is the meaning 3 is a condition here that means a is repeated up to only 3 times a is repeated is up to only 3 times so so that is a constraint that is a constraint but in the case of permutation order is not a matter but uh, in the case of combination order is a matter but in the case of combination permutations order does not a matter so but in the case of combinations and permutation we can use a repetition sometimes we can use constrained repetition sometimes say unlimited repetition that is a infinite of a that means a can be repeated multiple times that is a unlimited repetition whereas 3a that is a constrained repetition that is a constrained repetition so in the case of combination order is not a matter but in the case of permutation order is a matter for example consider choose up to 3 letters from this set total how many letters are there in the word consisting of 3 letters 3 letters but there is a condition is there constrained repetition a can be repeated maximum two ways and b can be repeated only one way and c will be repeated one time okay that means you can write the letters as a a b is one combination a a c is one combination and a b c is one combination so still any other possibilities no so these are the possibilities a a b then a a c a b c that means we can form the three letters word with the three times that is a is two times b is one time and c is one time here one one two so is a constrained repetition that means a repeated maximum two ways two times and b is repeated one time c is repeated one time only these are the possible ways to get a three letter word from the letters of 2 a b 1 b and 1 c next what is the coming to the permutations so what is the formula for constraint repetition p of n q1 comma q2 and so on qt so what is n factor it means how many number of letters are there total number of letters what is q1 factorial means how many times the first letter can be repeated what is q2 say that how many times the second letter can be repeated and so on up to qt that is say so denominator is a repetition of the letters in the corresponding word in the case of n factor representing as a total number of letters in the word for example how many different arrangements are there of the letters a a a b c b and c so that is a total 3 a's and 1 b 1 c total how many letters are there n is equal to 5 q1 is uh, that is nothing but the first letter is repeated how many times three times second letter q2 that is b is repeated one time and c is repeated one time so what is the formula p of 5 colon 3 comma 1 comma 1 that is a n factorial by q1 factorial is 3 factorial q2 factorial is 1 factorial and 1 factorial we'll get uh, 5 factorial means 5 Into four into three into two into one divided by three factorial means three into two into one. So we'll get twenty uh, ways we can make the arrangement of the letters triple A, one B, and C. Next, list all the permutations using the letters in the multi set. That means how many permutations are possible? Here nothing is specified. You can form either two letters or it is a three letters. But we can use uh, A two times. We can use B. one time you write two permutations two permutation means every letter every 
combine every arrangement consisting of two letters only. A B, A A, then okay, there are two possibilities. Okay, can you use A A two times? B is only one time A B and A A. But if it is a three combinations, so A A B only one possibility. Only one possibility. Next, you can use the digits one, two, two, three. Find unique four digits uh, that can be formed. We can use uh, four digits. How many number of letters are there? Four letters are there. Four factorial by. So how many ways one is repeated one time? One factor. How many times the two is repeated two times? So two factor. How many ways three is repeated one way? That is a uh, one factor. So four factorial by two factorial means four into three. That is a uh, twelve ways. We can form the digits. Then find the number of arrangements of the letters in the word Talhasi. In the case of Talhasi, total number of letters is nothing but a so total eleven letters are there. N is equal to eleven. N is equal to eleven. Next, that how many times T is repeated one time? Then Q T. That is T is repeated only one time. Next, Q Y. Y is repeated how many times? One, two, three. Three times A is repeated three times. Next L. L is repeated two times. Q L L is repeated two times. H H is repeated only once. Yes S is repeated two times. Y e is repeated two times. Then how many arrangements are possible? Means eleven factorial by one factorial, three factorial, two factorial, and again two factorial by two factorial. We have to multiply all those things. We are going to get so that is a three ninety nine one six eight double zero divided by denominator sixteen. After division, we are going to get that many ways the number of arrangements are possible. That many ways we can make the arrangement of the letter called talhasi. Next, how many different arrangements of the letters are there in the word Talhas? Just now we already discussed the total values. So that is a twenty-four lakhs ninety-four thousand eight hundred. So eleven factorial value is three ninety-nine one six eight double zero divided by sixteen. We are going to get so that is a twenty-four lakhs ninety-four thousand ninety-four thousand eight hundred ways we have to arrange the word called Talhas. In the same way. How many different arrangements of the letters in the word Mississippi? How many total number of letters in the word Mississippi? That is a eleven factorial. How many ways M is repeated? Only one way, one factorial. So one is means one factorial means one only. So no need to consider I is repeated how many times? Four times, four factorial. I is four times. Next, yes, S is repeated four times, four factorial. Next, I S then. P is repeated two times. M is repeated one time. So eleven factorial by then four factorial into four factorial into into two factorial into two factorial. We are going to get thirty four thousand six fifty ways we can arrange the word called Mississippi. Next, how many different arrangements of the letters in the word banana? So total number of letters in the banana is six letters. That is a six factorial by How many ways B is repeated one way? That is a one factorial. How many ways A is repeated three factorial into two factorial? That is six factorial by. So three factorial into two factorial six into five into four into three 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 becomes cancelled three two one three factorial three cancelled two factorial. That is two one zero two two zero. That means sixty uh, ways. We can arrange the word called banana. Next, how many different arrangements of the letters in the word committee? So total, how many letters are there? C O M four five six seven eight nine letters are there. So nine letters are there. That is a nine factorial divided by how many times each digit can be repeated? C is repeated one time, one factorial. O is also one time one factorial. M M is repeated two times two factorial. Then I is also one time. Then T two times E two times. Nine factorial by two factorial two factor two factor. That is nine into eight into seven into six into five into four four get cancelled. Two factorial means two only two threesa. 
after multiplying these many ways we are going to get the arrangement of the word called committee next statistics so total number of letters in the statistics is 5 that is 10 total number of letters are 10 factorial by so how many times that s is repeated s is repeated 3 times 3 factorial t is repeated how many times 3 times 3 factorial again a is repeated how many times one time one factorial then t is already written i is repeated two times two factorial s is already written t is already written c is one factorial so we have to multiply this after the division 10 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 factorial into 2 factorial that many ways we can arrange the letter arrange the letters in the word called statistics so what we have discussed is what is meant by combination and what is meant by permutation with constrained repetition that means conditional repetition how many ways the particular word is repeated so that many conditions you are going to apply before going to solve the problem in the case of combination and permutation we can understand those things with the help of example thank you